Where are you going, bro? I'm just gonna buy a door, bro. Just make it snappy, bro. We need to finish this project. We are going to buy a door. Then we're going to pimp it. Then we're going to sell it. Then I'm going to show you how much money we made. And the only tool you're going to need for this project is a drill machine. The idea I have for this project is to build a customized wine rack. To give it a coat of paint, stain it, drill some holes in for the wine bottles, put some wording up here, customize it by putting some photo frames up, even put a door handle to make it look legit. My wording is going to be on top. I already marked out my picture frames and I want my door handle to sit on the right hand side. Your right hand side, my left hand side. So the thickest point on the neck of a wine bottle is about 30 millimeters. Thus, we are going to use a 32 millimeter spade bit to cut all the holes. So when it comes to painting, there's a specific method I like in using for the specific style I've got in mind. I'm using 80% water-based paint and then 20% water. Once I'm done applying all the paint to my door, it's going to make sandpapering much easier later on. My door is dry, ready to be sandpapered. I'm using a very, very fine sandpaper, 240 grit sandpaper with my orbital sander. I don't want to take all the paint off. I only want to take half of the paint off. Sanding's done and I'm happy with how it came out. As you can see, the wood and the color is mixed together. Now I'm just gonna add maybe another solid color or two to give it a little bit of me magic. Just like that, an hour and a half later, I'm finished with my project. The client that's gonna buy this is gonna be super stoked. But for now, let's try and sell this baby. So when it comes to selling something new, secondhand, antique, anything you can think of, the platform is massive. One of the biggest platforms you can use in selling anything in today's time is Facebook Marketplace. So let me tell you something, there's absolutely nothing more satisfying in this world than a good quality glass of South African red wine. So this isn't one of those videos where I'm going to tell you, I just made $10,000 selling a door. Unfortunately not. However, 
I did sell the door and I sure did make some profit. Here is a clear breakdown of my total costings. I bought the door, I bought the letters, I bought the picture frames, I had the paint and I had the door handle. All these costings came to 500 bucks, which is equivalent to $27. Now I sold the door for 2,200 bucks, which means I made a total profit of $95. Now that's not a lot of money, but that's money I didn't have. Now if you have a full-time job or if you haven't got any work at all, this is an opportunity for every single person that's watching this video. You also can be an entrepreneur. Now here's some advice from myself. Two years ago, me and my girlfriend opened a DIY account. Both of us put $100 in each. And over the past two years, I have done numerous of small DIY projects, sold them and made a small profit. Currently, that account is standing on $3,300. Now how's that for entrepreneur? That will be all for today, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Before you go, make sure like, subscribe, and share this video. Zoe! Nia! Okay, guys, so my door is ready. Ready for sandpapering. And then uh, I'm gonna use it. Thus, we are going to use a 32 millimeter spade bed to cut all the holes. Luckily it didn't break of South African red wine. Mm. Ah. Sorry guys, it's not that it's bad, it's just 9 o'clock in the morning.